I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a practice question for competitive exams like SAT. The question here is the vertex of the parabola y equals to 3x square plus bx plus c is at minus 1, 4. Determine the sum of the values of b and c. Four options are given to you. So when we discuss solution, we'll also find a general method. And then we'll also discuss about a trick which can help us solve this question very easily. Now as far as the general method is concerned, we should write the equation in vertex form. We have 3x square plus bx plus c. Complete the squares by taking first 3 common. So we get b over 3x. Keep c aside. And then we have to add and subtract half of this. We get x square plus b over 3x plus half of b over 3 is b over 6. Add square of this and also subtract square of this. Correct? Plus c. Now the first three terms give you a factor, a perfect square, which is x plus b over 6 whole square. And you can open this, get 3 times, you can write this as b square over 36 plus c. Now from this, you can always see that the vertex given to us is at minus 1 and 4. That means that b over 6, the negative value of b over 6 should be equal to minus 1, right? That is the value of the vertex, correct? So from here, we can get b equals to minus 6 divided by, I mean, minus 1, you can say. It is just 6, right? So minus, minus, cancel, you get 6. So we get value of b as 6. You can actually substitute the value of b here and get all this. That is one way to do it. Alternately, at this stage, what you can also do is this point vertex is on the graph so substitute 1 here and the value of y should be 4 we can find c like that so we we'll write 4 for y equals to 3 times minus 1 square plus b we know is 6 times minus 1 plus c so that gives you 4 and this value is 3 here we have minus 6 plus c now that gives you the value of c as equal to uh, 4 mi minus of minus 3 which is 7. So we get c as 7 and b as 6. So we get b plus c as equal to 13. So that is the solution. Option c is the right option. Correct? Now this is a general method which could be applied. Now as far as the trick is concerned Whenever you have the equation of the form ax square plus bx plus c, in that case, x is, is at x equals to minus b by 2a, correct? And in the vertex, minus 1 is the axis. So x equals to minus 1 is the axis, right? So from here, you could quote minus b by 2 times a is 3, right? should be equal to minus 1 and that gives you the value of b as equal to plus 6. Do you see that? So we straight away get the value of b without doing all this. Now for finding c this is a good method what we did here. So first step b by 2a with a negative sign gives you the axis. We know axis is equal to minus 1. So you get the value of b once you get the value of b, substitute minus 1 and 4 for y to find c. And once you know b and c, you know c is now 7, add them and get the result. So that helps you to do or solve this question much faster. You can avoid completing this squares. That's what I'm trying to say. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.